What's up, fellas? I'm getting my butt kicked tonight bad. I changed the design up on this plate burner a little bit. And I'm getting some undesirable combustion characteristics. I'm going to try to save the day here. Actually, it's 1 o'clock at night. But I've got two of these burners built. This is what they looked like to start with. But I couldn't get the thing to light no matter what I do. So I changed it up. And I think all in all... Um, I think my air tube's just too big. This tube right here, I think it's just too big around to pump the gas right. So we may have to chop this whole block off. I don't know yet. I'd hate to think that's what it's going to take. But uh, so far, it appears my burn tube is just too big. And that would make sense. That's why I'm seeing a lot of the weird things I'm seeing here. Um, so we're going to try this again. I'm gonna chop this tube off and I'm gonna put a smaller tube on here because man, this is depressing. I got these things built and now I can't get it to the light. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I'd like to go to sleep tonight and it's just not gonna happen, dude. The combustion wants to start on fire inside of here and once that happens, it messes up everything. See how it's kind of burning inside of there? Just barely got it lit. All right, so it's not working. This thing just is not working. So we're gonna chop this big neck off here and put a small one on it. If that don't work, I'm gonna to have to chop this box off and everything. But so far, I'm in a big jam here. These things are not lighting the way it's supposed to. I've built these in the past and had no problems, but I got a feeling this inch and a half tube is just too big for it. It's not letting the air velocity exceed the combustion velocity of the gas, so we're burning in here instead. So. Yeah, I'd really like to get to sleep tonight. We'll give this a shot. All right, it is 1.24 a.m. We're in the jungle. I just want to go to bed, bro. <laughs> oh, if this don't work, I'm gonna freaking die. So we've reduced the ID of this tube significantly, like maybe by 10%. If this don't work, I'm gonna to have to kill myself. I think I'm gonna to have to cut this whole thing off here if it don't work too. So here it goes. Chop that off of there. I'm not going to bed, dude. There we go.
is working now, but it ain't working the way I want it to work. I am not satisfied. I hate it. I think I need to open this valve back up, this, this um, orifice. It's closed off just a little bit for me crushing it down. Yeah, this kind of sucks, man. It's almost there, but I know we can do better by in a lot of different ways here. So, so the smaller neck is working. That's a pretty nice little meter. I got a vent fan going. Alright, doing that again. we solve one problem. I may not have to cut these side necks off just yet. It lacks propane power now. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's pretty freaking good, but still, I think we can do a little better. I don't know what to do in life. What the heck is that? Gasoline leaking out of the floor? Probably. We gotta fix the propane knob. I can't go to bed yet. We gotta cut some of the top of that off. Our spud is too small at this point. The gas on. do it I see some problems with it and I think I know what to do so we're just gonna do it we're just gonna make it happen man this sputtering that it does I mean that could cause some unexpected problems it might melt the freaking valve or something you know so the sputtering is a no-go this thing is not acting like the first one I built so we're just gonna build another one and we're going to implement the geometric changes that I feel will be the solution to the problems we're witnessing here. All right, so we're just gonna cut another one. We're going with a little bit bigger of a hole. It isn't a whole lot bigger, but there's a lot of them. So that should give us a significant change. We also changed the pattern up a little bit. So hopefully this stops the sputtering. All right, so this is the difference. Versus that. 
can see we have more outside holes. We've added a hole in between each center of this row and the holes themselves are a little bit bigger. Just a bit bigger. Not by much. So hopefully this gives us the operational characteristics we're looking for. Okay, so we're back here. I don't know if you can see the difference. The holes are a little bit bigger and there's more of them. I am fairly confident that that's going to solve all my problems here. So just put a lot of effort into this fix. So wish me luck. Good sign that you're you're running right right there. That's a pretty good sign. good right there. We're going to leave that. I'm going to try and light it with the Ventura out this far. Lights right up. power off this nozzle which is amazing so the flame has to shoot down inside there we're not lighting the surface and there you go Justin I'm gonna get this in a box for you I'm gonna be sending this one also we'll do a little test on it real quick one last test for you that one works this one does not work. Crazy how that works. <laughs>